Buckle up, friends, and welcome to the Thriving Alcohol-Free Podcast. I'm your host, Deb, otherwise known as Mocktail Mom, a retired wine drinker that finally got sick and tired of spinning on life's broken record called Detox to Retox. Let this podcast be an encouragement to you if alcohol is maybe a form of self-care for you or you find yourself dragging through the day waiting to pour another glass. I am excited to share with you the fun of discovering new things to drink when you aren't drinking and the joy of waking up each day without a hangover. It is an honor to serve as your sober fun guide. So sit back and relax or keep doing whatever it is you're doing. This show is produced for you with love from the great state of Kentucky. Thanks so much for being here and big time cheers. Okay. Hey friends, it's Deb. How are you? How are you doing? It is the very end of February and I just can't believe the year's just, here we go. We're rolling right into March. It's coming. It's coming. March is coming. And I feel like March madness is actually 2023 madness. That's how it feels to me right now. But I'm so excited to bring this episode to you today because this is almost like a part two to episode three, um, where I talked about mocktails um, to order when you go out and about, when you're in a restaurant. And so today I just wanted to bring you some more options, some additional information of how to you know, arm yourself, get yourself ready when you go out and about, when you're at events or, you know, when you're in a bar or restaurant, because, um, you know, we're all out and about, and this is what I get asked the most about. And that episode actually had the most downloads of any episode that I've put out so far. So, um, I wanted to just share with you some additional things, um, that you can ask to, you know, ask the bartender to make you or ask the server to, to get for you. So, um, and then I also just want to share some additional, just some information, on you know how to how to handle things when you go out so um i actually i all of the drinks i'm going to recommend today yeah all the drinks i'm going to share with you today um i got from i have two face well i have a facebook a free facebook group called mocktails and non-alcoholic drinks big time cheers with mocktail mom so i asked in there you know what those people order you know what they ask the bartender for when they go out to order so i got a bunch of recommendations from those guys and then um, I also asked in uh, another, it's a free Facebook group called Not Alcoholic Spirits. So I asked in there what they order, you know, when they run around or out and about. So got tons of recommendations and it, some, many of them were like, I don't want to say repeats, but like a lot of people, like, a lot of us are ordering the same thing, you know, we go out and about. So I'm going to share with you um, some of the options that people, you know, are drinking when they're not drinking. So, um, but I do want to roll right back here to episode nine. So roll back for one second here. Last week I had Rich Loud on and the mocktail that he orders, non-alcoholic cocktail that he orders when he goes out and about, um, or that he recommended to me. And I tried it. I just tried this and it was so good. So here we go. Let me give you his recommendation. If you didn't hear in episode nine, I'm going to give you his recommendation again, what he orders. And I want to tell you from personal experience, I ordered it. It was three dollars and 32 cents at the bar I was sitting at but they charged me I don't know they probably the other places might charge 10 15 bucks I don't know all the bars are different you know sometimes you get the bill for a non-alcoholic drink and it's you know for a mocktail and it's ten dollars or seven dollars this one was three dollars and 32 cents so you know <laughs> saving money is probably cheaper than a coke but um okay so we'll start with riches and then I just want to share a bunch of information with you guys today so grab a pen and paper um, or, you know, if you're driving, don't do that, but, um, you know, come back and you can listen later and, um, maybe just write down or, you know, keep in mind a couple of these that maybe are your favorites or sound really good to you. Just have a couple in your kind of quote back pocket, you know, have a couple of non-alcoholic drinks that sound good to you. Grab those and save them, you know, put them in your phone and your notes or something. That way, when you're out in a restaurant or in a bar and you're like, there's nothing on the menu or everybody's ordering a cocktail and you feel stuck. You're not stuck. You are not stuck and you are not alone. Put us in your back pocket. Take these, you know, take this information, these recommendations and bring them with you because there's tons to drink. There's tons to drink when you're not drinking and you are not, you don't have to look like you're sitting at the kitty table. You don't have to look like you're, you know, drinking out of a sippy cup, like you're five, you know, you can look like an adult. You just don't have to have alcohol. Okay. So, okay. Rich's drink. This is from episode nine that he shared with me. Um, and if, did I mention that you're going to hear my papers making noise? So I apologize in advance. You're going to hear my papers because I studied more for this. I wrote more notes for this than I did for like a final exam in high school. So I have tons of drinks written down and recommendations written down and they're on two sides of papers. So you're going to hear my paper. Sorry about that in advance. Probably like not, 
not good in the world of podcasting, but that's okay. Um, here we go. It's real life. I'm in my daughter's bedroom while I'm recording this. She's off at college, but I'm at a new table. Did I mention? I got a bar table, an old um, bar table and a bar stool from an old Buffalo Wild Wings. So I'm super excited to be sitting at this today. All right, here we go. This is Rich's um, mocktail, not alcohol drink cocktail that he orders when he goes out and about. I just had it. It's delicious. And it only cost me $3.32. Here we go. Ginger beer in a highball glass with ice, four dashes of orange bitters, squeeze of lime juice, and garnish it to make it look pretty. Rich's exact words, garnish it to make it look pretty. You feel like you're having a cocktail. You are having a cocktail. There's just no alcohol. That's a delicious one. Mark that one down. Um, save that one. So, so, so good. Okay, tons of people um, in these two groups that I was asking about, um, you know, a lot of people said that they order a club soda with a splash of cranberry juice and lime wedges. That was probably, I don't know, I didn't actually add them all up, but I got tons, tons of people said that that's what they order. And some people even said, like, it just tricks your brain. I forget who said that. Uh, I think uh, Kalina is her name. She said um, that it just kind of tricks her brain, makes her feel like she's having, you know, she, she makes her feel like she's having booze, which... You just, sometimes you just want to feel like you're still having a cocktail, but you're not, you have no hangover. Um, so this, this drink works really well. Frances also, she mentioned that, um, it looks like a vodka and cranberry. Um, so, uh, club soda again, club soda, splash of cranberry, cranberry juice, um, lime wedges. So it just, it looks like you're having, you know, vodka and cranberry. And, um, she's actually, personally, she has, um, when she was early in her pregnancy and didn't want to tell people that she was pregnant. This is what she was ordering. It looked like she was still drinking and nobody even knew, right? Nobody was like, why aren't you drinking? Why aren't you drinking, right? Sometimes we don't want to get that question. Why aren't you drinking? You just want to be able to do your own thing, stay in your own lane, have your blinders on, you know, staying on your alcohol-free journey. You don't want to be questioned sometimes. So that's really nice. Um, she said it's worked great also at work functions. You know, people aren't saying like, again, why aren't you drinking? Or, you know, oh, are you pregnant? Um, so, okay, here we go. Lauren, um, Lauren said that she will ask the bartender, if she's right up at the bar, she'll ask the bartender um, to, um, what's the bartender's favorite mocktail to make. That way she kind of gets the best of their abilities. Um, if she's not right there at the bar, she'll ask the server, um, she'll pick out a cocktail that's on the menu, um, and she will, she'll basically order it, like she'll pick out a cocktail that only has one, um, you know, one alcoholic ingredient. And let's say it's like something that has vodka in it. So she'll order the cocktail, and then she'll simply tell the waitress without vodka. So instead of having to say, oh, I'll take a virgin this, which you can order, order it however you want to order it. But if you're feeling uncomfortable or if you're feeling like you just want it to like kind of roll off your tongue a little bit, make it, nobody's going to, who cares what anybody says anyway. But if you want to just roll off your tongue a little bit, maybe just pick out a cocktail that has one alcoholic, one of the alcoholic, one ingredient is alcoholic, sorry, one ingredient is alcoholic. So just order that cocktail and just say without vodka or without rum. And it, then it, it just, it has, I think it has a different sound. It does. It has a different sound like, I'll take the virgin pina colada. You know, it just sounds different. I don't know. It sounds a little more adult. Whatever. Call it however you want. A lot of people don't even think mocktail sounds adult. So who am I to, who am I to say anything? Um, my friend Felicia in one of the groups also mentioned that she'll, yeah, she'll pick out um, a cocktail from the menu that only has like a single alcoholic ingredient. And she'll just ask them to sub out club soda. A lot of people said that as well. So, and that that's worked really well for her. So something that you can, you know, that you can do as well. Just find, find a cocktail on the menu, find one that has one alcoholic ingredient and just ask them to sub it out with um, club soda. Again, that'll roll off your tongue. So, oh, sub out the vodka for um, club soda. Easy, easy to order. Okay. So there's that. Those are that. Okay. Now I have a screenshot here. Let me share this with you because this gal Kelly in the non alcoholic spirits group shared this. And I thought, and Rich, let's see, Rich also made a comment on this. Um, okay. So she says, this is exactly verbatim, or I should say, quote, quote, this is how Kelly places her order um, in a restaurant. She'll say, club soda, three limes in a tall glass. Please do not put it in a soda plastic tumbler type glass. She says she words it exactly like that. Exactly like that. That way, sometimes you place an order and then they bring over your non-alcohol cocktail. And again, it just looks like you're just like you're you're seven, you know? <laughs> so make it look pretty. Make it look pretty. Just, you know, just because there's no alcohol doesn't mean it has to, doesn't, doesn't have to look good, right? Um, if she's at like a nicer place or a steak dinner or something, she'll say um, cranberry juice, no ice, three drop, th sorry, three drops of aromatic bitters and three drops of cardamom bitters if they have it. And she'll ask them to serve it in a wine glass. So let me say that again. Cranberry juice, no ice, 
three drops of aromatic bitters and three drops of cardamom bitters, if they have it, um, put it in a wine glass. So again, just looks like, looks really like you're just having a glass of wine. Or she'll order a ginger ale in a tall glass and then she brings um, some true lime packets with her and she'll put two of those in there. So just makes you just feel a little bit better, you know, or not. <laughs> doesn't matter right it doesn't again doesn't matter that you're not drinking nobody should care that you're not drinking but I just know from personal experience there's that uncomfortableness for me in the beginning it was uncomfortable it was like oh what are they gonna think what are they gonna think that I'm not drinking now I don't care I could care less but in the beginning I wanted you know or sometimes you just not, not sometimes all the time I do want to feel like I'm having an adult drink I just don't want the alcohol in there I want it to look like an adult drink even though I'm not having alcohol so there you go have you experienced authentic freedom in your life? I know for me, not drinking alcohol feels like authentic freedom in my life. And I want to celebrate that. But maybe for you, authentic freedom is leaving corporate America. Maybe it's leaving a narcissistic relationship. Maybe it's not coloring your hair anymore. And that's authentic freedom. I know for me, that is too. So if you want to celebrate whatever it is that authentic freedom is for you, head over to AuthenticFreedomLifestyle.com and use the code MOCKTAILMOM to save 20%. Always free shipping. Again, that's AuthenticFreedomLifestyle.com. Use the code MOCKTAILMOM to save 20%. Hope to see you soon celebrating authentic freedom. Um, okay, I shared that. Okay, looking at my notes. Here we go. All right, let's go through a list of some drinks that you can order. Here we go. Running down my list of notes. Hopefully I have not messed up what I was trying to say to you. Okay, here we go. All right, Renee, uh, in my mocktails and non-alcoholic, um, non-alcoholic drinks, big time cheers Facebook group says, um, she orders an iced tea, or sorry, an iced long black. It's called an iced long black. I never heard that before. It's, uh, she says it tastes exactly like an espresso martini. So I looked it up and literally it's like shots of espresso, um, water, ice. I mean, it's simple to make, but, um, she calls it, it's, or I shouldn't say she calls it, it's called a iced long black and it tastes like an espresso martini. So maybe order that if you're in the mood for a coffee drink or you need to pick me up, uh, maybe order that. Melissa, um, in my group also orders, she orders a seven up and red bowl, seven up and red bowl. Or she'll order a orange juice, pineapple juice, splash of lemon juice, and mix it with soda water. So orange juice, pineapple juice, splash of lemon juice, and mixes it with soda water. Deliciousness. A lot of people mention Bloody Marys. Um, Christine in my group, she says, um, ask for it to be extra spicy. And I completely agree with that. Extra spicy. Um, <laughs> add spice to, to most drinks. And it just, for me, it gives that bite, that kick. It just feels like, feels like, sounds so bad to say, like it feels like alcohol, but you know what I mean? It's just like, it just has that bite that I do miss from, you know, my Chardonnay, my crisp Chardonnay days. So uh, Bloody Mary is what Christine off, will ask for and she'll ask for extra spicy. A lot of people have mentioned um, Bloody Mary's. Kimberly in my group, um, she says, oh, this sounds so good. Muddled berries, mint with seltzer water muddled berries and mint with seltzer water okay and if you like it more sweet she says um to use sprite so instead of seltzer water if you want it a little bit sweeter have them uh, make it with sprite so very easy so just say hey could you have the bartender muddle up some berries for me and mint and top it with seltzer water okay easy to order you're not you know inconveniencing anybody they've got berries right <laughs> they've probably got mint i would guess they have to it's a bar most likely right and they have seltzer water so simple they can make that for you not difficult at all um, okay, here's one. Kelly says this is like a salty dog. It's called a salty dog cocktail. She says club soda with a splash of grapefruit juice and lime and sometimes salt. Um, the other one that's very similar to this is um, Emily in the non alcoholic spirits group. She mentioned grapefruit juice, splash of soda water with a salted rim. So salt the rim. Oh my gosh. Delicious. Okay. Um, Heidi, my good friend Heidi, she says um, tonic and lime. A bunch of people said tonic and lime. Um, I think that's a, I mean, that's so simple, easy. Just put that in the back of your mind. Easy to order. Can I have a tonic and lime? Tonic and lime, right? Um, you know, and hopefully they're not going to bring it to you in a plastic cup. They're going to bring it to you in a rocks glass. They're going to bring it to you in something that looks like a cocktail. Um, the other thing Heidi um, shared is that she ordered when she was on a trip, she was in a, um, Admiral's Club, I think it was called, um, on her way flying to Aruba, and she shared that she had ordered a tonic and orange juice and asked them to put it in a champagne flute, and it just looked like a mimosa. 
So her friend that she was with was having a mimosa. She was having her tonic and orange juice. Hers was not alcoholic. Her friend was having an alcoholic drink. And they looked practically identical. I mean, nobody walked past the table. You would never know that Heidi was drinking something not alcoholic. But it makes you, you know, feel, enjoy your, you know, your morning mimosa or your mimosa at your event, wherever you are. Tonic and orange juice. There you go. You're ready to go. Um, okay, let's see. Um, Susan shared, um, oh, and this, this was, she was sharing just that it's really, again, back to like, it's all about the presentation. It's all about the presentation. Like just, it just makes you feel so much better when the drink looks good. So, um, she said she'll order a Coke in a rocks glass with a lime or cherries. Uh, a bunch of people mentioned that as well. And there, and just that, that in particular, like a Coke in a rocks glass as opposed to like a Coke in a, you know, whatever, right, plastic cup or whatever. Um, it just helps, especially if you're, maybe you're an event, like a work event or happy hour and there's a bunch of drinkers around, you know, just again, makes you feel a little bit better. I know for me, having a cocktail, a non-alcohol cocktail in my hand helps me feel a little bit more comfortable um, when, when everyone else is drinking, especially. Um, she also, Susan also orders, she'll order a ginger ale in a champagne glass, okay? Ginger ale in a champagne glass. Again, you're not ordering anything fancy just having them put it in something nicer. The presentation is so much better, right? She'll also order a San Pellegrino and a martini glass with a twist. San Pellegrino and a martini glass, right? Looks like you're having a martini. No one will ever know. No one will ever know. So um, there's that. Um, Julia, uh, she met, mentioned um, just to ask the bartender to create something special or what they like to do. Um, she will usually just tell them her preference. So like, you know, if you prefer savory over sweet, or something, you know, more herby over, you know, fruity. Just let the bartender know that, you know, maybe have them ask them to make you something special, make them, you know, whatever, whatever they like to make, but tell them a little bit about what you, what you like, what you enjoy in a, in a, in a cocktail or non-alcohol drink, whatever. Um, okay. Uh, moving on a lot of people, soda, water, and lime and bitters. Uh, Chris had mentioned that he's in the non-alcohol spirits group, uh, mentioned that. Soda, water, lime, and bitters. A bunch of people mentioned that. Um, easy, easy. Adam mentioned ginger ale with a dash of bitters and a lime. Very similar, right? But just easy, very simple. Keep that, you know, write that down. Maybe just, maybe that's all you need is just to be able to order. Uh, you know what? I'll grab a ginger ale with a dash of bitters and a lime. Sounds like you're ordering something so fancy, right? No one will ever know. I mean, I guess they will know, right? <laughs> if they're really listening, when you're drinking it, they're not going to know. Um, Lydia, um, I love this one. She said, uh, she orders ginger beer in a pint glass, ginger beer in a pint glass. Isn't that fun? Right? So if you're at a happy hour, Hey, I'll take a ginger beer in a pint glass. And I would say on that, um, I will recommend ask, make sure it's a non-alcoholic ginger beer. If you're trying to drink non-alcoholic things. Most likely you are, if you're listening to this, um, a non-alcoholic ginger beer. I, um, I, I didn't realize actually that all ginger beer, or I didn't realize that most ginger beers are non-alcoholic. Um, when I first became alcohol free and I kind of thought, oh, all of them are not alcoholic. But then I was recently at, uh, was it Jungle Gyms? Yeah, Jungle Gyms. And they had um, a bunch of ginger beers, some that were not alcoholic and some that did have alcohol. So make sure if you're ordering that non-alcoholic ginger beer in a pint glass, pint glass I would um, recommend to distinguish it because there is such a thing as alcohol ginger beer. And that's probably not what you're wanting. Uh, Nicole says she'll order soda water and two limes because I'm fancy like that is how she put it. Soda water and two limes because I'm fancy like that. So place that order. Maybe place Nicole's order. It's so cute. Um, okay, I'll make sure I'm not missing anything. I've got a couple more for you. A couple more. Here we go. Um, and she orders, she loves lemon and lime juice with cucumber and jalapeno. Okay. Put some uh, soda water on it and a splash of ginger beer. So here we go again. I'm going to give you Anne's recipe or Anne's drink that she orders. She puts lemon and lime juice, cucumber and jalapeno. Okay. Jalapeno is my favorite. It just, it just brings up every drink, it brings it all up, um, with jalapeno and some soda water and a splash of ginger beer. There you go. Uh, Claudia, she orders ginger beer and grapefruit juice, ginger beer and grapefruit juice. So good. So good. So many good options when you're not drinking. Okay. I have a couple more here for you. I have three more here for you. Um, Courtney orders ginger beer, grapefruit juice, jalapeno, lime juice with a salted rim. Ginger beer, grapefruit juice, jalapeno, lime juice, and a salted rim. So good. Okay, Natasha, she orders a Michelada. A Michelada. Um, it looks like the word Michelada. I didn't. I never had one before I became alcohol free. I have had one now, and they're delicious. Um, I made a pumpkin one on Instagram Live. It was so good with the with the gal um, from Instagram. 
um, but uh, a Michelada, and she orders it in, uh, she'll say, um, order it with, to ask for mineral water instead of beer. So order a Michelada, could you sub out the beer for mineral water? Ask the bartender to make that for you. And then you have a non-alcoholic Michelada. So good. Um, last one, this is a Caesar, and it's not a salad, okay? A non-alcoholic Caesar, just ask them to remove the, um, you know, to make it without vodka, take out the vodka. So um, Caesar is like similar to a Bloody Mary, but it's made with um, clamato. So it's like a uh, like a clam tomato, clammy tomato, clam clam juice, tomato juice instead of just tomato juice like a Bloody Mary. So it has that bite, that bite of the clam juice, so good. So there you go. Those are some options for you when you're out and about. Things to order when you want to order something but you don't want to drink. So whether you're just being more mindful. Or, you know, you just want to drink less, fine. These are some options for you. If you are totally on an alcohol-free journey, here are a ton of options for you to order. Be encouraged. There are so many things to drink. You are not stuck with, you know, uh, nothing against the Shirley Temple. Nothing against Shirley Temple or herself. Nothing at all. I don't want a Shirley Temple, personally, and maybe you don't either. So here's a ton of additional options for you to be encouraged. There are so many good things to drink. We're not drinking. Now, all of these don't even have alcohol-free um, spirits in them. These are just simple, um, non-alcohol cocktails. You can have them make for you with basically anything behind the bar. So there's, you don't have to find, you don't, with this list, you don't necessarily need to find a bar that specializes or that carries non-alcoholic spirits. More and more of them are, which is wonderful. More and more bars and you know places are carrying or are offering cocktails with non-alcoholic spirits. This list does not include any of those. This is just simple things that you can ask for. Gives you ideas of things to um, request when you are out and about. So I hope that is helpful for you. I hope you are encouraged um, that the good times are ahead. It is not over. The party's not over. The fun continues and I am cheering for you. I am cheering for you 100%. Whether you are on day one, whether you are just sober curious and you're thinking, what would I drink if I wasn't drinking? Or if you're thinking, would I still have fun if I'm not drinking? Yes, you will. And yes, there are plenty of things to drink. Or if you're on day 1,000, a friend of mine, Sheila, big shout out to my friend Sheila who had day 1,000 yesterday. Day 1,000 alcohol-free. Day 1,000 of waking up without a hangover. Day 1,000 of choosing herself and her family over zoning out, buzzing out. So big time cheers to each of you. Big time cheers to you, my friend Sheila. Love you so much. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for leading the way for me, encouraging my heart along this journey. Um, and for all of you, just in our um, in the Facebook groups that I'm a part of, I just love this community. I appreciate the support so much, and I want to be an encouragement to each and every one of you, wherever you are in your journey. So big time cheers to you from the great state of Kentucky, where my dog, Coco, is sleeping on my daughter's bed. She's sound asleep snoring, so if you heard her, I'm sorry, Coco's here. There's very windy outside today, so you may have heard that as well. My paper's rustling. You heard it all. Here I am making you a podcast and sending you a big hug and lots of love. Big time cheers. We'll talk to you later. Big time cheers to you for tuning in to the Thriving Alcohol-Free Podcast. I hope you will take something from today's episode and make one small change that will help you to thrive and have fun in life without alcohol. If you enjoyed this episode and you'd like to help support the podcast, please share it with others, post about it on social, send up a flare, or leave a rating and a review. I am cheering for you as you discover the world of non-alcoholic drinks and as you journey towards authentic freedom. See you in the next episode.